this is Jam, and this is Jam's Adventures. Today I'm standing in front of a sportsman's warehouse here in Pocatello, Idaho. It's uh, one of my favorite stores, and I know they're not everywhere, but they are in the Northwest. So I thought I would give you guys a tour just to see what you think. I know some of you guys are familiar with this store, um, others may not be, but it's a great sporting goods store. This store is one of my favorites, and uh, it, I think Bass Pro Shop might have bought it because you know Bass Pro Shop bought Cabela's. They basically have a monopoly now, but I'll have to verify that. But with that said, let's go in and check it out. So um, I'm a big believer in um, value shopping. So I usually buy, you know, Walmart clothes. So Dickies socks are usually the socks I wear, and um, I'm wearing Dickies right now. Lately, the Dickies socks that I bought at Walmart um, have not been the best quality. When I pull up on them, they rip sometimes. I didn't have that problem before, so I don't know what happened to the quality. But they used to be a better sock. But it's a Dickies boot sock, um, and I really appreciated it. But now, you know, I'm having issues with it. So one thing that I've done is I, uh, since I've started being a wilderness instructor, I wanted to try a different sock, and um, so I tried a darn tough sock. And these socks are around thirty dollars on Amazon. Um, which is a lot of money and it's more than I would ever thought I would pay for a pair of socks But with that said um, I went ahead and bought some and I you know We just did a 20 mile hike this weekend and my darn tough socks I'll tell you what they make a difference and not only that um, They they're merino wool. They also protect your feet and uh, sweat You know my feet don't smell as bad as when I wear a different sock So the merino wool uh, really helps with the odor and um, let me just I, I actually only I bought two pair last time so I think I'm gonna buy two more pairs so I recommend you know changing them out every couple of days if you're gonna be out for a while but um, I'm looking at this one right here and actually these are not too bad they're 24 24 dollars 26 dollars that's a lot cheaper than I'm seeing them at other places so I'm gonna go ahead and buy me a pair um, I'm gonna get this hike trek one here uh, it's the midweight with full cushion and large I normally like an extra large I was gonna try an extra large I think I got large last time but I'm gonna try this one and to see how it goes but like I said the, oh the other thing is um, notice here it says they're if you can read that they're guaranteed for life that means if you tear them up or they wear out any you know put holes in them you send them back in and they'll send you a free pair so uh, that's what I really liked about the socks so even though before you know I would never have thought about paying you know $120 for a four pair of socks uh, I, I'm a believer now and especially since these have a lifetime warranty so good deal so they have a Sportsman's Warehouse has a really good selection of uh, boots. They have a lot of name brands like Keen, um, Oboes. I think that's how you say it, Oboes. But, I mean, they have really good shoes here. I was going to show you guys a couple of different types of shoes and a really good selection on socks. But, yeah, all these are Keen. Um, they have hunting boots. Really good like Here's the Oboes. I think that's how you say it. Um, you know, those are really good quality shoes. I've never had a pair, but I know they're quality shoes, the Oboes. Um, the Kings. And they also have Merrells. I like Merrells. The Kings are good boots, too. But they've got, you know, just quite a good selection here. Um, more Merrells on this side. Let's see. I was trying to see if they had a high tech, because there's a brand here that, that I wear that I've worn before that I've hiked to the Pacific Northwest in my high techs, but I wanted to show you guys because they're a good boot. So another brand that I've uh, really appreciated because I actually bought a pair of uh, Sol Solomons. Um, you know, I used to snowboard and Solomon made a great snowboard. I also had some Solomon rollerblades that were aluminum, my favorite pair of rollerblades. I have not been able to find another pair, but the uh, Solomon makes a good boot. My current pair of hiking boots, uh, which I don't have on, but they're Solomons and I've just uh, used them last week on a 20 mile hike. Um, up on the deserts of Idaho from about 4,000 feet to you know almost 5,000 feet so we hiked up about a thousand feet uh, 20 miles over a two-day three-day period but my Solomon shoes are great so here's the brand that I bought uh, a couple years ago high-tech and I've hiked all over the Northwest in Washington and Idaho with my high-tech boots so they're a they're an inexpensive boot a lot cheaper than some of the others the Keens the Solomons um, and the Oboes 
and the uh, Merrells. But with that said, you know, uh, to me, it's it's a pretty high quality boot as far as the price goes. So it's it's for the price you can't beat it. Uh, like I said, I've hiked with them and they have really good uh, tread, and um, I'm still using them. So it's a great boot if you want an inexpensive boot, high tech, and you can get those at Sportsman's Warehouse. They have a great selection of hunting gear and just active sportswear. This is the women's section over here. Um, they have Carhartt, which, you know, I really like Carhartt. Carhartt's a great brand. Um, some more Carhartt t-shirts. Belts, they have good belts. 511 belts, more hunting gear over here. Uh, so I got me some darn tough socks and I also am looking for some sun shirts. And another thing that I need is, uh, I need sun shirts with hoods and then I also uh, looking for some rain gear. I had bought some uh, rain gear, but uh, my first time I tried it, I bought it from Walmart, so it was a little inexpensive and, and it definitely wasn't the best rain gear because after uh, using it the first time, I ripped a hole in the pants. So I'm gonna take that back and try to find me a better quality rain gear. So um, the Frog Talks uh, rain suit with pants is what I had bought and I've got it at Walmart. Um, but like I said, um, I only wore it like for two or three times and I, the first time I wore the pants I ripped a hole in the pants and uh, the second the jacket's already starting to wear out so um, I'm looking for something a little um, more quality than the frog togs for being out in the field. So the rain gear that I really like which I'm not going to buy today because I can't afford it but I was going to show it to you anyway just so you guys know that it's a really good brand. Um, I'm actually wearing it right now you can see this jacket but uh, it's here. Um, Oops, the Sitka. Uh, it's a real quality brand, and I was going to show you. So Gore-Tex, I'm a big believer in Gore-Tex. I love Gore-Tex. Uh, when I was in the military, I had Gore-Tex. We can see it's Gore-Tex. Uh, you can see the price on there, $2.99. So that's a little out of my price range. It's really lightweight. I'm like a Sitka rain jacket right now. I really like it. It's lightweight. If uh, when I save some money up, I'll definitely get this. But uh, the one I have on is a little cheaper. Actually, I don't know what the price on it is. I don't see a price, but I'll have to check. But I definitely recommend this brand, but I'm going to keep looking. And this time around, we're going to try to find something that's under $100. I uh, actually like this Columbia jacket. Um, it's about $50. But uh, it's lightweight. I think it's got, yeah, it's got a zip-up hood there. So uh, I kind of like this one. I'm leaning towards it. Um, I need pants too, though. So uh, let's see if we can find some pants. So I was talking about sun shirts. I really like this Sitka. Um, it's got the hood. It's, you know, I believe it's got some sun protection. Let's see. Sitka. Gore-Tex. Actually, sorry, not Gore-Tex. It just says Gore, not Gore-Tex. Um, this is just a base layer shirt. This isn't actually a sun shirt. It's a base layer shirt, but I do like it. I think it would work for a sun shirt. It actually would work for what I would like. Um, $129, so once again, um, out of my price range today. Uh, here's another good brand. I like these sun, these shirts. These actually, you can see, this does have the sun protection, 50 plus. Uh, it's $69.99. I do like this. Um, I actually like this color because I'm up in the desert and, and get dusty, but this color would be great because of the dust. So just to... These are really nice. I'm not gonna get one today because it's a little, I bought two, I actually bought two sun shirts yesterday. I actually got them at uh, Ross and they were, I think for $30, I got two nice sun shirts. One was at Columbia and uh, what was the other brand? Anyway, I'll show those that to you later, but the other one was a nice brand too. It looks really good, but uh, let's keep looking. So here's some Columbia sun shirts. These are really nice. This is exactly what I bought yesterday. I got it at Ross. So sometimes go check Ross out. You can get really good deals at Ross, but you can see the price here is uh, $45. And um, I got my Columbia Sun shirt yesterday at uh, Ross, and I think I'll, it was on sale for $20. So uh, always check Ross. You can get some good deals there on uh, quality stuff. So I found this Carhartt beanie. I really like it. It's uh, $20. But um, I like this color. I like the brown which I told you guys before because being up in the desert everything gets dusty so I like you know the brown colors because they don't the brown uh, the dust gets on it and you can't tell so you just dust them off and keep on going but I do like this hat I think I might get me a Carhartt hat like this that's the clothing section 
you can see they have a good clothing section. And then, of course, for guys who like to fish, they have a whole section back here for fishing, fishing and boating, all sorts of tackle and stuff. Um, my favorite stuff, they have binoculars, some really nice binoculars, night visions, the knives, they have a really good knife display. Of course, I like my Gerber Gator knife, which I've had for <laughs> since 1994, so I've had it almost 30, 30 years. My Gerber knife that I use, it's my favorite, and it's still sharp. It's a serrated blade, and um, still don't have any issues. I'll have to show that to you guys. But a good knife selection. And then you come around the other side. Some flashlights. And then here's some more knives and throwing knives and axes and things. Ooh, that's cool. It's a pepper, a pepper ball gun. That's pretty sweet. Four hundred bucks. Sunglasses, some uh, Garmin watches and things. So good selection and then of course they have a whole whole nother section of knives over here that you can see there's the bows they have a whole section of bows and then they have rifles and guns and the handguns and all sorts of stuff over there that you can see there's some compasses and maps they have a pretty good selection of maps National Geographic actually they're they're kind of running low on some maps of course the Gazetteer which is one of my favorite books so they have uh, all sorts of hunting stuff, uh, hunting supplies and things like that, which is targets and things. Um, of course, we're not looking at hunting gear today, but uh, here's some more really nice backpacks and a whole section of ammo cans. Um, ooh, lots of nice hunting backpacks. Here's all your things, gun safes and. Uh, protective cases for your guns and things like that I'm looking I'm walking back here to try to find the hiking and our camping gear of course here's the camping gear over here so let's go take a look I love these old inner tubes we used to use these on the rivers and stuff you can get these here these old tire inner tubes these are great sweet uh, I have barbecue grills all sorts of guns and toys some inflatable rafts and things um, barbecue stuff over there kayaks in the back and chairs got a good chair so we're not looking for a chair today there's your kayaks nice selection of paddles and kayaks and things and um, there's our P cord parachute cord you need a good military grade P cord some of these P cords are really soft and they don't work good on like a dr bow drill set like this one it feels like there's nothing in it um, these are good but they're kind of thin it's a really thin P cord I need a they had a wider one yeah, up here so they do have some better quality cord here there's like harder cord and softer cord but for a bow drill you want the harder cord of course there's a Teton Sports sleeping bag which I have the uh, zero degree Teton Sports bag um, they have some more Kelty bags and things. Kelty is a great, makes great sleeping bags. A little selection of sleeping bags here. All sorts of, all your degrees there, negative 30 degrees, all the way up to 25 degrees, 60 degrees. So you got all your different degrees in there. Here's your accessories. Everything from saws to can openers and all the things you would need. It's a really good selection. First aid kits, water filtration systems, and I got some cots, and of course backpacks, which I do need to look at some backpacks. So let's take a look. I got a pretty good selection of backpacks. Um, Horse backpacks are never cheap. I was looking for a 50 liter. 
Yeah, these are all $200 plus packs. Teton Sports. That's a 55. How much is Teton Sports? 55. Uh, 100 bucks. They have a selection of tents. All sorts of tents. Coolers. Tent bags. Tables. Some inflatable mattresses. Of course, I have the uh, insulated Static V. That one right there. For they've got it for ninety nine. Um, actually, I really enjoy my climate uh, insulated Static V. Actually, they have these at Walmart now. Some WalMarts carry this brand. I think they're like eighty something dollars at Walmart. But there's a double. But uh, really nice. It's a nice air mattress. They got several different brands. They got pillows and liners and things like that for your sleeping bags. Of course, they have some lanterns too. Lanterns and your cooking gear, water, air mattresses, and then all your cooking gear. They have jet boil, which is really nice. You can afford it. <laughs> it's on the expensive side, but nice stuff. Um, I really like this jet boil cup right here, $39.95. So that's a nice one. Uh, but they've got other, you know, the more expensive cooking cups and things that you can your basic cooking cups and things and all your cooking needs and then of course food dried food they even have it in big buckets down there of course you can't be a sporting goods stores without Yeti and Camelback um, I have a Camelback bottle that I love actually this one is great look at that I need a 32 ounce wow I actually like this. I might get two of these. 32 ounce, which is almost a thousand milliliters. Um, $17 for that one. That's actually a good price. I've got a smaller one. Mine's um, like a 24 ounce. Um, but look at this one. This one's only $19 and this is a 50 ounce, wow. Actually, I might get me a Camelback. I'm thinking about getting this. It's got different colors. But you can see they have Yeti too. But I'm happy with Camelback. They have a whole selection of Yetis over here. Then you got your hiking poles. And all your other gear. Some more. Hydro flask. So, um, yeah. I think we'll call it a day. That's our uh, our tour of Sportsman's Warehouse. So I uh, hope that you guys can find one near you if you're not in the Northwest or if you're in the Northwest. Uh, but uh, listen, uh, this is Jam, and this has uh, been Jam's Adventures. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.